Hi folks, I want to show you a really cool feature in QuickBooks called Receipts. You will find this in all versions of QuickBooks Online, whether it's Simple Start Essentials, Plus or Advanced, you're going to see these features across every version. Now the way you access it, you're going to click on Banking or Transactions, and then you're going to click uh, in the Banking tab where it says Receipts. So once you're in Receipts, you're going to see a button that says drag and drop your files here. So if your file is somewhere on your computer, you can certainly just drag and drop it in there or upload it. But I want to show you how to do it with uh, a scanner, which is the most common way that people set it up. So here where it says uh, Receipt and Bill Forwarding, I'm going to click here where it says Set Up Receipt Forwarding. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to create an email just for this. I'm going to call this Hector advance webinar at qbodocs.com. So basically this becomes the de facto email address that any documents that are in an email or in a scanner that scans straight into email, it can go straight into uh, QuickBooks that way. So I'm going to save this email here and then click on claim it now and then click on confirm um, and I'm good to go. So from now on, anyone that... Uh, sends a document, whether I forward it from my regular email or maybe a vendor or something that sends a document to that email, it goes straight into uh, my QuickBooks. So that's all set. So now I'm going to take my receipt that I have here and I'll run it through my scanner in a scanner that actually scans straight to email. So I have here my trusty Raven Pro. I have another video in uh, in YouTube where I can uh, do a full review of this scanner. This is currently my scanner of choice for our accounting practice. We love it. We're completely uh, uh, love it. We've used it in very heavy duty scenarios and we love the scanner. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the receipt in here um, and then I'm just going to run a regular scan. And of course, every scanner looks different. Every scanner has a different interface. Uh, this one has a really big screen and allows me to choose how I want to uh, work with this document. With the Raven Pro, I can send it to Dropbox. I can send it via fax. I can do Google Drive. There's a new feature to send it straight into QuickBooks. We'll do a separate video on that. We're just going to be working on email. So right here where it says email address, I'm just going to type up the email address for my QuickBooks Online Receipts account. All right, so I'm done entering my email here, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Okay, so now it's set up as a default email address on my scanner. I'm just going to click on Save here, and then click on Send to Email. So obviously every scanner works uh, differently. This is the Raven Pro, and has this really big screen, really easy to use interface. Once you get the confirmation that the email has been sent, I'm going to go ahead and switch back into uh, QuickBooks Online. And um, right here on the Receipts tab, I'm just going to click on Transactions, Receipt, just in case you're not on that screen. And then I'm going to click on Refresh. So once I hit Refresh, notice here where it says Processing. And it says we are pulling info from this receipt stick. This can take up to 15 minutes. So I'll pause the recording here and I'll resume it once it's done. This is done doing its thing. Uh, it took like 20 minutes actually for it to process. So we're going to go ahead and click on that transaction so we can see it. There's the copy of the receipt. Here on the right, it tells you what they've actually uh, has found. So I already have entered this transaction before in QuickBooks, so this allows me to do a match. If I don't want to do a match, I can just click on create an expense and create uh, a transaction on its own. That's also possible. Then I get to choose whether it's going to be an expense receipt or a bill. I put here the vendor's name, so Foot Lion. I put here the bank account that I pay this with. Let's say I pay with a petty cash account. The date, it automatically recommends um, a category based on what it thinks not necessarily right. I can choose the correct one. Here's the price uh, or the, the total amount and I can add memo or anything else I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save and next and QuickBooks will give you the option to either create it from scratch or match it. Right? You see how both of those options are there. Creating the transaction or matching it. Now once I go into the transaction itself, I'm going to go ahead and open it. 
I can scroll down and I can see the scan right there. So if I click on the scan, I can actually see the receipt that was scanned. So it's a pretty simple process. You scan your document, you post it into your computer and upload it into receipts or send it via email or scan straight to email, let QuickBooks do its thing, and then once the transaction comes in, you either create the transaction or match it. Hope that was useful.